business and bourbon. Hey, business and bourbon fam, Ron L here. You are in for a treat today. We've recorded a couple of bonus episodes from you that were recorded live from our Business and Bourbon Raleigh event. If you are not familiar with our Business and Bourbon live events, make sure you go to businessandbourbon.live today. We're in the middle of traveling across the country, going to your communities and having these fantastic events where we bring in whiskey tasting, food pairing, tremendous speakers and thought leaders from your community and beyond. The idea is we want you to connect. We want you to build great business relationships. And that's what people are doing at these tremendous events. All right, before we get this party started, I want to make sure we give a shout out to our premier sponsors of our Business and Bourbon Raleigh event. That would be Nextiva and All Nations Distillery. Make sure you check out both of those companies and do business with them. And if you have any questions about them, you can look in the show notes. There'll be some links to their websites where you can check them out further. All right, with that said, let's get this party started. It's time to grab that drink. Sit down next with us as we're here in Raleigh enjoying a little business and bourbon. All right, just wrap. Business and bourbon. And it was amazing. Man, I had such a great time. But I got to tell you, man, as excited as I was to come to Raleigh, and to do this event because the community is so awesome. I was equally as excited to have my main man, Richie Meadows. Come on, hold it, man. I gotta tell you, Richie, you saw my excitement when you came to the door. I'm like, I'm I know, fine. I know you about lost it. I did, dude. You know, so for those of you guys just watching or listening to this, then you've been on, on a virtual event, and, um, and, and Richie and I have been on those events. Uh, yeah, man, like this, this was our first time in person. Yes, guys, I, I don't even know how many damn events. I've lost, I've lost count. So it was so dope to really do this and, and bring it to this community. Well, first of all, what was it like for you, dude? What did you think about the, the experience? That was great energy. And, uh, everyone was in a fantastic mood. We had an incredible whiskey to drink from the yeah. nations. Yeah. Uh, so, so I mean, you, you, we had all the basics for an amazing event. Uh, the energy was high. Everybody was socializing, uh, and which was really incredible experience. I think we've gone through the last couple of years. Yeah. Uh, it was just, it was really beautiful, beautiful time. It was great to actually get up on the microphone, yeah. uh, in front of a crowd, and, and talk uh, about what I'm passionate about, yeah. uh, and have people engage, yeah. and, and have a, a eye contact and connection with the folks. It was, it was, it was awesome running out. It was and part of it, some of the time though, you know, like, and here's one of the things, it's like, it's, it's good, it's bad, but it's good. And sometimes when we're, when we're talking, you know, like, you're doing your thing, and people are really engaged in their conversations, and they're connecting, sometimes it's kind of hard to like, get their attention, hey guys, we're on our next person. So it's kind of bad because I want them to, I want everyone to hear all of the, the genius that comes out of your mouth. But at the same time, we're here to connect. Like, I love the fact that they're so engaged in their their, their connection, so engaged with their, converse, their conversation that we have to pull them back in. <laughs> you know, you know it's, it's, tasting whiskey is only a, a small part of the event. When you're tasting whiskey, um, one of the bigger psychological uh, connections that you get is not with the, the physical liquid. But the psychological connections are with the, the stories behind the liquid. Uh, and, and the way that when you tell that story to somebody uh, while they sip that whiskey, the way that that makes them feel. Yeah. Uh, and then that feeling then becomes connected with drinking that particular uh, whiskey. And so that is one of the most special and most important parts to me about about doing my job uh, is feeling that somebody is actually genuinely very, very connected with 
the whiskey that they're drinking through the stories that are being portrayed to them. Yeah. Um, and, and when you're doing tastings online and, and, and through um, through video, it, you can tell stories short, but it very much takes away from being able to look look that look that person in the face uh, and have a real connection with them um, and know that they are actually genuinely feeling the story and the emotion that you're telling them because a lot a lot of whiskey this this country was for a, a good portion of it was was built on whiskey mm -hmm. um, a lot of trade was developed through whiskey the the first president of the united states won his votes by going around saloons and buying more shots of whiskey mm -hmm. i mean this country was was genuinely uh, a lot of it was built around that liquid and so why was that liquid more special than uh, a glass of orange juice or, or a glass of water. It's because of the stories that we're being, being able to be told while sipping uh, and tasting those those glasses of whiskey uh, and making those a, a very deep, long-lasting emotional connections with drinking whiskey. Uh, and you, you, as much as you try to, you, it's hard to do that uh, online. But uh, coming back into a room full of people uh, who have high energy, very much in the mood to, to be social and, and hear about whiskey and, and have those those experiences again. It yeah. was really kind of uh, uh, really kind of uh, touched on it. So that was, uh, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. That was really good. Cool. Hey guys, um, I, I wanted to take a moment here after Bridges and Bourbon Raleigh and just introduce you to, for those of you that don't know, the world famous Christian Michaels icon. He is an icon. He's our icon. He's our guy. Um, we are, I want to tease it, we're going to be doing, we're going to do a podcast episode with Richie to kind of tell you guys his story, um, because he's got an interesting story, I mean, come on, he's a Brit who lives in Kentucky, man, like, he teaches about American whiskey. I know, I, you know, when I say that to a lot of folks, when, I, when I'm doing tastings, I, I preface it with, oh, man, how can this Brit be over here telling y'all about your, your native spirit, this isn't even my native, native spirit, it's yours, and I'm here to tell you about it, and then it seems kind of backward, right, but it's, uh, uh, it's been a heck of a journey and uh, uh, taking away my my place of birth, taking away my, my accent, uh, my heart, my soul, my, my mind, my brain, everything, my, my being is it absorbed into American whiskey. Yeah. Uh, and and so, that shows, man. So, brother, I appreciate you. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful uh, for you uh, and, and what you've given to us and given to the brand, man. All the sacrifices that you made on behalf of your brand and on behalf of our audience, and I know that um, I'm just I'm super excited about what, what what the future holds for for the brand, for Rich and Michaels, and where you're going. And again, I cannot express my gratitude enough to you, dude. I really appreciate you, brother, and I'm so happy to see you here. Absolutely, so. right now I owe you a lot, everybody. Uh, your events are always spectacular. I uh, couldn't ask for a better person to work. Thanks, Cheers. All right. Peace, guys. We out. Thank you for listening to the Business and Bourbon Podcast. Please subscribe. And if you like us, give us a five-star rating. If you don't, uh, have another drink. Maybe you'll feel a little bit differently. If you'd like to check out our videos, you can go to businessandbourbon.tv. That's businessandbourbon.tv. In addition to that, we're currently touring the United States with our Business and Bourbon Live show. It's a fantastic show where we do a whiskey education and we do some Q&A and it's a great networking event as well. So if you'd like to attend one of our Business and Bourbon Live events, you can go to businessandbourbon.live. Again, that's businessandbourbon.live. Thanks again for listening. We'll catch you the next time.